Jenny Meadows not running. Now we do know that she had a cold all week and maybe that's, although she has got a place in the final, maybe that had developed into something more serious. And after a run in the semi-finals it may have been because of the cold. From the inside it's Lupu, Josvik, Hendrix Dottir, Poister Gova and Bouchel. Taking very comfortably at the moment. Well, to the slight surprise of myself and Peter, it's in fact Selina Bouchel who takes the front rather than the usually extravagant early pace set down by Hendrix Dottir. Thirty eighty-eight. well certainly a decent time but well, not as fast as we might have expected so Hendrix Dottir does finally work her way to the front and it's Hendrix Dottir from Iceland in front followed by Bouchel tall figure of Poistagova uh, Hendrix Dottir not pushing the pace quite as fast as she has done in the heat and semi-final in some of the other races we've seen her so a bunch behind her it's Bouchel Poistagova and the defending champion Lupu, 62-77 at the 400 metre mark. Well, that really is rather slow for a championship final. Yes. A little bit surprised about that because we know Hendrix Dottir, despite still being inexperienced, is not a, a woman who's got a great turn of pace. Bouchel and Lupu do have, and Poistagova as well. And Bouchu now coming round the outside. Just edging into the front at the belt. She's in a very good position indeed. So Bouchel gets to the front with just under 200 metres to go. Now Hendrix Dottir is starting to fade. It's Lupu now coming through round on the outside. Passing Hendrix Dottir. Now trying to get up on the shoulder of Bouchel. So it's Switzerland 1, Ukraine 2 at the moment as they come into the home straight with 50 metres to go. It's Bouchel but coming through very strongly. Out in lane 4, it's Poistagova. Well, it's Bouchel who just hangs on. 201.95. I wonder how much she knew about Poistagova coming around down the outside there with that very, very late run indeed. Well, they're giving it as a photo finish. I, my money is on Bouchel. Poistagova though. Terrific run over the final 70 or 80 metres to really reel in Bouchel and overtake the defending champion Lupu. Well, still waiting for confirmation, but I and the Czech director and the cameraman think it is the first gold medal at these championships for Switzerland. It's certainly close though. It was in many ways an unsatisfactory race, I think, but uh, certainly a thrilling last 50 metres. Yes, I mean, the surprise for me is that Henrik Stotter didn't take it out. Right, let's have a look at the final 50 metres again. Well, at this stage, it's Bouchel looking as though she's heading for home with a gold medal. But just look how fast Poistagova is finishing. Yes, you can see from the overhead shot there, Bouchel does get the gold medal. And indeed, we have just had it confirmed that Bouchel has been given the gold medal. 201.95. 201.99, four hundredths of a second further back was poised to go over the Russian. But it looked very close, and with the best part of four lanes separating, the, separating them, it was difficult to tell. There you can see confirmation of the times and Lupu gold two years ago in Gothenburg, now having to settle for the bronze. Well, deservedly delighted. That's her first major international gold medal. Salina Bouchel, European indoor champion here in Prague. 2015 confirmation of the time as well as Peter said time really doesn't matter that was a slightly strange and unsatisfactory race apart from the thrilling finish nevertheless Selena Bouchel is not going to really worry about how the race unfolded she got the gold medal yes it was interesting the Henrik Stottier did indeed decide to start uh, by holding back and then of course she came all the way through to the front and I think it's very mixed up as to exactly what she wanted to do. I think at her current stage of development, really her, the way for her to do it is just to go out and run it. And that would have resulted, I think, in a different type of race at least.
As you can see there, there's confirmation of the results. Bouchel of Switzerland indeed does take the gold medal, 201.95. Poistagova, the silver, Lupu, the bronze, and 